The tides were churning down in Belmar today as a nor'easter bears down on the Garden State. The storm is expected to strengthen later tonight into Tuesday. Wind gusts reached over 55 miles per hour in some parts of the state. A high wind warning is in effect for east or northeast winds of 25 to 40 miles per hour with wind gusts of up to 60 miles per hour. The wind can down trees and power lines. Forecasters predicted widespread moderate coastal flooding near high tide during the afternoon and evening in Cumberland, Cape May and Atlantic counties as New Jersey is facing a day of powerful winds and rain that could pose problems. High tide on the coastline was 4 and 5 this afternoon and expected again between 430 and 530 tomorrow morning. High tide on the back bays along the Raritan Bay will occur later than the high tide on the ocean front. That's according to the coastal flood warning issued by the National Weather Service of Mount Holly. Meanwhile, the press of Atlantic City reported earlier this morning that around 1,000 businesses and homes lost power in Atlantic County and thousands more lost power in Monmouth and Ocean Counties. According to the National Weather Service, up to three inches of rain across most of New Jersey is being projected with most in eastern and central areas. JCPNL is expecting power outages throughout the state and are prepared with extra equipment. To report a power outage, you you can text OUT to lights or 544487. Go online to jcp-l.com through the company's smartphone app. Call 888-544-4877 or visit them on Facebook. I think we'll be okay through this one, even though it's pretty bad out there right now. But you still have some uh, precautionary measures. Yep, we're, uh, when we get ready to close, we're going to maybe like sandbag the doors and the windows just in case the tide comes over to sand dune, um, just to keep us safe somewhat. Barry Peterson, owner of the coffee surf shop in Belmar, said he plans to stay open and ride out the storm if residents in the area lose power and need a place to grab a hot beverage. If it yep. does get really bad, will yep. you close up early? Yes, we would close up early. We don't want a chance people coming to see us if they see our Instagram or something think we're open. Meanwhile, inland, a wintry weather mix will bring a few inches of snow, ice, and sleet to areas like Sussex County and western Presse County. The National Weather Service in Mount Holly has issued a winter weather advisory which is in effect until 11 Tuesday morning. As we mentioned before, this storm is supposed to intensify, believe it or not, as I'm getting knocked around by the wind. Make sure that you have all of your electronics powered up. Make sure that you know how to report a power outage and stay tuned for the rest of the night. One positive is that after tomorrow, Wednesday, it is supposed to be nice out. Reporting in Belmar, Melissa Estock, WMBC News.